before we left for Daytona that July, I'm like, I'm going to win this race. And, um, you know, this is gonna make everything better. Obviously going back to Daytona where my dad lost his life is a big deal. Uh, we all kind of had that feeling when we drove in that place, you know, it was kind of heart stopping feeling there when everybody just looks up at that spot. I knew if I wanted to race, I was coming back to Daytona many, many more times. And so I needed to fix it to where me and this track could coexist. I'm just ready to get out there and get racing. We got a car capable of winning, and we just got to make the right moves on the racetrack. It was definitely, at that time, the best prepared car we'd ever taken to Daytona. My car was so fast, and I was just in this weird frame of mind that nothing could touch me. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I wasn't afraid of anything. For the lead in turn four. He drove just like his dad when he was in those speedway cars. That was our driver. We figured we had the best driver. I just felt like I was invincible. It's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. using blessings learned from his father to go from sixth to first and score the victory in a Pepsi 400. It was kind of a heart-stopping moment when it did happen. We could hear the people over the engine. No one left. This was a big deal five months after we had lost our dad to come back to Daytona and win this race. I thought about all the people that this was going to help. I can't say that it gave everyone closure, but I can say that that moment made them happy. We could all smile and laugh and enjoy something good. When he come out of that car, that was the biggest smile I'd ever seen on that guy. And uh, I'll remember that forever, for sure. People are seeing something they really needed to see and they were a part of something they really needed to be a part of i think the energy that i got from the fans in the moment was of relief and a release being freed from that sadness and that loss it was okay to be happy it was okay cheer it up and i think everybody had been waiting to do that i remember looking into dale jr's eyes and and seeing his emotion he said, I love you, buddy, and he jumped off the car. I thought everything was better now, and that, that was incredible. He was with me tonight. I, I don't know how I did it. Dale was a rocket that night, and that car was so fast. There's not a doubt for me that I feel like Dad's presence was there. I just have to imagine that somehow, some way, you know, that, that he witnessed what we did that night. It's a nice thing to think about. I think for Dale, that was a moment to kind of look up and go, I did it, Dad. You know, this is for you. This is about you. There's a lot of things that you do in, in your career, no matter what you do, that, you know, you say, heck yeah, that was special. And um, that, that was a special night. You couldn't write a better story than this selfishly hope one day they put it on the big screen. It'd be amazing to see somebody's interpretation of what happened that night.